Hi, and welcome back to our channel Summaries of a Bookworm. Your number one place for all who need or like to listen to book summaries. Let's start with the book summary of today. Wing Biddlebaum is an old, fat man who lives alone in a small frame house outside of Winesburg, Ohio. Winesburg is a small, rural town. Even though he has lived in the same town for 20 years, he does not feel like he is a part of it. In fact, Wing only has something close to a friend in George Willard, the young son of the owner of the new Willard house. When Wing is with George, he loses some of his shyness. Wing hopes that George will spend the evening with him on this one day of the story. George never shows up, and most of the story takes place in flashbacks, not in the present. During an earlier meeting between the two men, Wing became wholly inspired, and told the younger man that he cared too much about what other people thought and should stop listening to the roaring of other people's voices and start to dream. Wing raised his hands to kiss the boy, and then a look of horror came over his face. After Wing runs away from this scene, George thinks his fear of him and everyone else is because of Wing's hands. Here, a big flashback called, The Story of the Hands, starts. If we talk about them, maybe a poet will be inspired to write about, the hidden wonder of the power for which the hands were only fluttering pennants of promise. Wing used to be a teacher in rural Pennsylvania when he was 20 years old. His name was Adolf Myers. Adolf Myers was very popular with the boys at his school because he was born to teach them. Both his voice and his hands showed how he felt. He was one of those people in whom the force that gives life is not centralized but spread out. Under the caress of his hands, doubt and skepticism left the boys' minds, and they started to dream, too. Then disaster happened. One of the boys fell in love with Wing, dreamed terrible things about her, and told other boys about them. The fear of Adolf grew very quickly. Henry Bradford, a saloon keeper, called Adolf out from the schoolhouse and beat and kicked him, and a mob drove Adolf out of town that night. Wing went to Winesburg to live with an old aunt, and he did so until his aunt died. After what happened in Pennsylvania, he was sick for a year, and since then he has worked as a day laborer in the fields around Winesburg. In the last paragraph of the story, Wing walks up and down his house's veranda, makes and eats a simple meal, does the dishes, and then gets ready for bed. There were a few white breadcrumbs on the clean floor by the table. He put the lamp on a low stool and started picking up the crumbs, putting them in his mouth one at a time with incredible speed. He looks like a priest leading a service at a church. In this last picture, Wing Biddlebaum's sad, lonely figure is turned into a spiritual being that is above and beyond everything else. Next. Thank you for listening to our book summary. I hope we sparked your interest in the book. Please let us know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. Do you want to listen to more book summaries? Subscribe to us and you will get a notification every time we publish a new summary. Bye bye and see you next time.